All right, all right. Update number three. Uh, it's been a while, right? All right. Oh my God, look at that. Can you guys see that? Huh? I just hooked that lodge lid over there. All right, here we go. Okay, this meat is like falling off the bone here. My biggest deal would be um, taking the toothpicks out, of course, right? There's mushrooms right there. There's a piece of meat I just pulled up. Look, look at that. Can you guys see that? Huh? All right, so. Mm. So, what I plan on eating with this is um, some tortillas. Wait, no. I'm sorry. Sourdough bread. Now, there's enough bacon fat in here, olive oil in here to where we don't have to really like put any butter on our bread, right? This is what it looks like. Guys, check it out. There's a little residual falling over. This is a Dutch oven. It's going to overflow when there's a lot of fluid. What do you think, huh? I think I should tear it up and just don't eat the toothpicks. What do you think? <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Uh -uh -uh. So I have my tongs and I want to say this is the final update on this dish. I got this other dish I want to cook. Whoa, 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 whoa. My dog's asleep. I'm not trying to wake her up. So there you go. There's the meat. There is the meat. Hoo wee. And I bet you now, if I take this piece of meat, I'm sure I'll find a toothpick in here. I'm not really worried about it. Let me get a little bowl. I have a bowl set aside for me. Uh, yeah, keep in mind, it's still nighttime. And I think it stopped raining. There's my sourdough bread. Move over my little teacup. And my little, here's my bowl. One of my favorite ramen bowls. I have a little forky fork. Blow off a little pine needle that's on here. You know, out in the forest, you got pine needles. You got whatever you want here. Put my fork down here. So what I'm gonna do, because it's my favorite thing to do, is just grab this onion, put that in there. I'll put that as a base. Um, these are the pasilla chiles. I want to taste that. All right, more onion. Okay. Now the bacon, as you can see, is falling off. I want some bacon. Amen. <laughs> more onion. Mm -hmm. And there's a mushroom right here. Mushroom. Yeah, I want to get a mushroom. Some red bell peppers. Green onions. I'm not green onions. More red bell peppers. Green bell peppers. So this is the pasilla chile, right there. Okay. I'm gonna grab this piece of meat right here. Can you see that? It's soft. It's like savory. Oh my gosh. I can, oh, there's a toothpick. There's a couple toothpicks. Actually, maybe three. There's one. I'm gonna put this uh, right there. Just to get it out of the way. Here's a second one. Uh -uh. So you can see that the toothpicks are not going to get destroyed. Or you can't see them. They're quite visible. You just take them out. Uh, and I didn't put a whole lot. What I all, all I was trying to do was just keep the bacon on the, on the meat while I was braising it. And then uh, I wanted that bacon flavor to infuse with the beef. 
So I'm over here poking at this meat right here. There's another toothpick. So as you go along, as you see one, just pull it out. All right. So what do you think? Huh? What do you think? You think I should take this out? I think so. This one's just falling apart. I'm not forcing it, honestly. I don't see a toothpick on here. So I'm going to put this meat right here. Mmm, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Hallelujah. It's a little juice on there. Mmm. There's a bacon. It's a piece of bacon right there. See that bacon? Okay, so look. It's not just about the looks. Honestly, it's about the flavor. So I'm all about the savory. So as tomorrow, example. I'm going to leave this on, on this fire for another 30 minutes. But as you like poke and prod through this Dutch oven, you're going to see. You're going to you're gonna really see what is it that you want and what you don't want. So I don't want this toothpick. There's another one. There's another one. I don't recall as many as I put in there. All I was trying to do was infuse the bacon into the meat. Right, and as you can see, the bacon is still attached to the bacon. There's another one right here, and the toothpicks haven't like shattered, hasn't torn apart. They're still whole, so it's not like you can't see what you're chewing on. Right? There's one right there. I'm trying to get to. Now, if the if these if these toothpicks are giving you resistance, you gotta ask yourself why. Why is this toothpick not coming out? Because if the meat was soft, the toothpick would be coming out, right? Look at that. Look at that little pile of toothpicks I got. So as you know, I'm focused on getting the toothpick out because I don't want to chew on a toothpick. There's another one. And. As I'm on here with you, it's not taking a lot of time. It's not. I mean, maybe you think it is, but it's really not. All right, so I'm poking and prodding here. You know, I'm going to have some sourdough bread with this, with this dish. There's another one right here. There's one. And this was only to keep the bacon attached to the meat when I braised it because I wanted the bacon to have a flavor that was going to infuse into this dish and release I want the bacon to release the the smoky flavor that it you know the bacon is already smoked right bacon is already smoked I'm actually, here's four more pieces. I'm actually surprised that my dog, Venus, isn't harping me about letting her out. Because she's in the tent right now. And, uh, ooh, ooh. This must be the ones that, uh, well, these are at the end, so. Check out this dish, man. I'm telling you. Outdoor cooking, there's nothing compared to cooking a meal in your on your stove in your home. Outdoor cooking is like, there's no timeline. It allows you to just, just be. You know, if you're a, if you're a, a, a outdoor meat cook, you know, like griller. You can cook out here. Look at this meat, man. It's just tearing apart here. It's falling apart, falling apart. And what's cool about this beef is that it's infusing. It's infusing with, look, the chiles, the onions, the mushrooms, the asparagus. You can't even, like, you can't even put a, you can't put a picture on what that may look like. It's like a, it all became one. I think I got, actually, I think I got all the, uh, 
the chiles in here. You know, I don't see any more. <coughs> I see one or two more pieces of toothpicks. And it's not a, uh, it's not a, uh, it's not labor here. This is love, man. When you can find the thorns of a toothpick in your dish, then that means that uh, you have patience, you want what you want, and you're allowing it to infuse together as, as a whole meal. Look at that. Bacon's in there. You can't see it. You know why? <laughs> There's a piece of it right there. Because it's all together. It's all coming together. Like a really awesome dish. Look, I, I, I don't care how long it takes, you guys. Do whatever it takes to get the job done. I don't care if it's three or four hours. There's that onion. Right? We talk about the onion. Mm -mm -mm. There's the onion. I'm going to let this sit there for like 30 minutes on a low flame. But this right here, that right there, you see that? That's mine. Yep. Mushrooms, bell peppers, bacon, beef, juice, and I'm going to have some uh, sourdough bread with that. Not a lot, just a little. So I'm going to let this savor in here. And I could probably put this on a nice bed of eggs in the morning. I could even add more seasonings here if I feel like, hey, there's not enough seasonings of this or enough seasonings that I can throw wine in here right now, right this very moment. I can throw some Cabernet Sauvignon. I can add some red wine vinegar. I can add some Pinot Grigio and maybe even some Chardonnay. Uh, Riesling. Riesling is good too. A little bit of garlic, garlic olive oil, avocado oil. Whatever it is that you think feels good to you, this is part of transformation. When you're cooking, it's like it's like cooking from your soul. It's just a loving, enjoyable thing to do. Anyway, I'm gonna have dinner. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're having a great night. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.